Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Bernie Birch. I'm the Sales Manager for Relive for Asia Pacific. I want to welcome everybody to today's webinar. And I first up want to remind everyone of what our Relive mission is, which is to nourish the world in mind, body and spirit. And of course, our three-year vision for Relive Asia Pacific is to achieve sales per month of $1 million US. Our top priorities continue to be to increase our key performance indicators, to develop our brand awareness, to keep developing and promoting our social media strategy through increased online capabilities, and of course, keep our focus on getting as many distributors as possible through to that director level to really start building a business. This week, our webinar is on building a balanced business, and this is part one of that. And we are going to go through what we can today and next week, of course, we'll do a short recap and we will do part two of building a balanced business. Let's get started for today. The objectives of building a balanced business webinar, both parts one and two, is about using the Relift system to build a balanced organization. It's about reasons to build wide and deep and the pros and cons of building wide and deep. The stages, there's three stages as you can see here, initial growth and critical mass stages. Let's have a look at those in their different points. Firstly, let's look at the initial stage, okay. It's important that everybody understands that what we're in in network marketing is a people business. It's all about people that you meet, people you're about to meet, and the people that the people you meet and are about to be, meet, the people that they know. It's all about working your circle of influence to the best of your ability and building that list of prospects. We've talked about all of these things through the recent Take the Lead workshops and trainings. And you've got to continually build your list of prospects, build a, pros a possibilities list, and build yourself through, build a solid business through to master affiliate. In the initial stage, you've got to be sponsoring your initial distributors, which means you're out there looking for your 10 percenters. There's 10 percent of people who are going to really want to pick up and be as committed as you are and drive forward to make a really good income from their relive business, people who are going to want to get out there and create financial independence. And of course, again, there's that further 10 percent to make that 20 percent of all people who sign up are going to build a business to some degree and we know that the other 80% are only interested in using product but they are very important to your business because they are using our products and having their lives changed from a health perspective whilst your initial distributors and all the other distributors you bring on will be changing their lives in both health and wealth. It's really important to develop that consumer base through your preferred customers and as I just said those preferred customers using the products and changing their lives. And we need to ensure that these people use the products correctly. And so how we develop our customer base and work with our customer base is so important. And again, a lot of what we talked about in the Take the Lead training, which you can also look at in previous webinars. The other thing, of course, when you're developing a big consumer base through your preferred customers is developing a warm market of referrals. Because if you're building a business, your preferred customers are a gold mine of referrals. If somebody's using our products and they're getting those great results that we know people do, then why would they not want to share those great results with other people and allow them to enjoy the benefits that they're enjoying? So developing that warm market of referrals is very, very important in that initial stage and also throughout your time in your business, building your business with Relive. Now it's important in that initial stage when you're looking for your new distributors and you're sponsoring your new distributors, what's important is to look at the qualities of those people. What are you looking for? Well, there's this list that you can see on your screen. And of course, it's positive attitude. Personally, I think attitude is the absolutely number one characteristic or quality that you can look for in anybody. Because someone who has a positive attitude will do what's required to actually be successful. People need to be teachable. It's so important that 
People will listen to you and adopt what you're teaching them and go out there and practice that and practice it with enthusiasm. And when you find someone who's got a positive attitude, who's teachable and who's enthusiastic, generally speaking, they are self-motivated. And that is so important for a new distributor because you want people to want to do it. You want people who are looking for what the next step is. You want to find people who've got persistence, who are willing to help others because our products help others. Our products change people's lives. Our business and our opportunity change people's lives. So you want to have people with that philosophy of being helpful to others and they really need to have a, self, a high self-esteem. Someone with a high self-esteem is always going to find this business easier than someone who has the opposite. And so a high, high self-esteem is something that you should look for in a new distributor and someone who has a vision. Because if someone has a vision, then the chances are that their why is going to be very real to them and it will be a motivator and it will inspire them to go and do what needs to be done to build their relive business. Avoid the pitfalls. And that is, in this initial stage for a distributor, it's so important. And remember when you're sponsoring people that they need to understand this. Don't go creating a new scheme. We have a great system, the Relive Success System, which has been proven over 25 years to be hugely successful if people follow the system. So don't go trying to create new schemes. And if you get a new distributor in your organization who's trying to create a new system, bring them back to basics and show them our system. So therefore, you need to be following the system so that you can lead by example. Because remember, our, what our workshops were all about recently was to take the lead. So you need to take the lead and show people the system and you need to take the lead by making sure you follow the system yourself. Avoid those pitfalls of not having a goal and vision. Make sure your new distributors have a clear goal. Sit down with them and help them to find out what their initial goal is and also to help them identify what a vision is that can help them in their life and their journey with Relive. Make sure you avoid that pitfall of making the person the issue. It never is the case. Keep your mind focused on your goal. That's why having a goal is so important and having that goal written down. And again, we've done a lot in webinars about goals. Go back through our archive and look at those and watch those and make sure that what you do is write down that goal. Avoid that pitfall of having of taking rejection personally. Rejection is not personal when you're talking about the business. Some people are just not ready for the business. Sometimes it's timing. It can be whatever. It doesn't matter. When someone says no to you, they're not rejecting you. What they're saying is their offer is not something that I'm interested in at this time. And if there's no new growth, don't get caught up in that. You need to actually be out there constantly finding new people. And your new distributors need to be finding new people. And it is your role, as I said before, as a distributor, for you to take the lead and go out there and sponsor new people into the business so that you're leading the way and showing your new distributors how to sponsor and to create new growth in their business. And of course, avoid dream stealers. If someone's a dream stealer, turn and run. Get away from them as fast as you can. The network marketing, as it says, is a business of teaching people. Remember, you are in a team. There are people all around you willing to help. In Relive, as in no other business I've ever been involved in, there is such a great sense of being together, a great sense of being a team and helping one another. And you need to slot into that. And one way that you sink in with that is to make sure that you slot into the system. And you use the system and you use your upline and you actually are out there sharing. You can share and others will share with you. Be a team player. Remember, you're not alone. Borrow that strength from your upline. They've been around for a long time. If you're a new distributor, you borrow your strength from your upline. And if you're not a new distributor, you borrow your strength from your upline as well. And you be that strong upline for your new distributors. Show them the way. Help them. And if you're not sure about something, if you're not strong in an area, then you find out how to get strong in that area 
and you go to your upline and you get better at it because the strength of your business and the success or failure of your business is completely up to you and nobody else. Use the bank of stories from your uplines and there is so many stories. And you know what? Again, as a team, because we are a team with Relive, there are people everywhere who are willing to share their stories. You don't need to just use your upline stories. You can share anybody's stories and people are happy for you to do that. And it's so important, again, all of these things, this is reiterating and reconfirming everything that was done at the Take the Lead workshops. All of these things, all the getting back to the basics, sticking to the system and utilize three-way calls. Some people call them conference calls, whatever you want to call them. And a three-way call, to be practical, sometimes doesn't have to be three people on the phone at the same time. Maybe someone doesn't have that facility on their phone, but that's okay. If you're talking to a prospect, you can talk to the prospect, you ring up your upline and you hand your phone to the prospect so your upline can talk directly to them. That's the same thing as a three-way call and will have the same effect. And remember, be part of the Relive Success System. And I, I, I can't stress this enough how important it is to be part of that Relive Success System because it is a proven pathway to success and has been for 25 years. The beauty of this is that you do get paid for sharing your story because that's what this business is about. It is simply about sharing your story. And in the initial stage, if you don't have a story yet, use your upline story, use other people's stories, okay? It is a storytelling business. And as it says here, talking begins with listening. So when you're talking to people, you share your story, but then you listen to what they have to say. Ask lots of questions. Get people talking again. This is reconfirming a lot of what was taught at the Take the Lead workshop. People like to talk about their problems and three main areas is health, money and their job. Remember we talked about form, F-O-R-M, family, occupation, recreation and money. They're the four main areas that people talk about. But you want to find the areas that people talk about their problems and start to moan and carry on, health, money and job. 99% of people are going to complain to you about one of these things and it's your job to find out where they're unhappy because that's where you're going to find by asking questions where their hot points are, where their hot buttons are that you can push to get them interested in the business because it is about finding people's hot buttons. It's about asking questions and getting in conversation with people because talking begins with listening and you can actually bring more and more people into the business simply by listening to what they have to say. The next stage is a growth stage. The growth stage is all about validation. It's about promoting frontline master affiliates in your organization because master affiliate is that first step through to leadership. So promote frontline master affiliates. And remember, we have now reintroduced our master affiliate push up, which allows people for one person to get 2,500 points, PGPB, to become a master affiliate and if they have someone who they have personally sponsored who has 1,000 beneath them, they will both go to master affiliate at the same time. That's unencumbered volume, of course. The master affiliate push-up is a great program and you should utilize it to your advantage. It's all about, again, taking the lead and demonstrating how to do the business, which means you need to do it. You need to go back to basics, you need to follow the system, and you need to... Do it yourself so that you can show to your new distributors how to do the business. The focus is all about duplication. You'll hear it over and over and over again ad nauseum in this, in this game. It's all about duplication. And remember, it's not about what you say, it's about what you do. So if you're out there telling people to bring people to meetings and you're not, then your downline probably, unless they are those self-motivated people, they're not going to do it because they're going to look to you. You need to lead by example. You need to take the lead and bring people to every single event that happens. Imagine if we have, if we have 50 distributors show up to an event and every single one brings one person, that's 100 people. That's double the number. If we've got 100 distributors and everybody brings one person, that's 200. It's just one person bringing one person to every event and that should be everybody's minimum goal when it comes to events, to bring one person at a minimum. 
and follow up. We spent a lot of time at Take the Lead trainings talking about follow up. Remember, it is so important with follow up to make sure that your new distributors and your new preferred customers are taking the products correctly so that you can ensure they will get the optimum results from taking the products. And it's your responsibility to make sure that they do that. And then, of course, you reach critical stage, critical phase. And it's all about teaching teachers to teach. And you know what? The best way to learn something is to teach it. Because when you're teaching something, you actually find the gaps that you have, the gaps in your understanding, the gaps in your knowledge. And that is a good thing. Do not shy away from that. It is such a great place to be. Step forward. Take the lead. Start teaching. Do things yourself. Practice what you teach. Empower your downlines to become teachers. Utilize the teach, show, do. And remember, as it says here, networking is not a business of selling cans. It's a storytelling and distribution business. A storytelling and distribution business. We tell the stories, people purchase the product, we distribute the products. It's really that simple. This has been part one of building a balanced business. Next week, we're going to look at building in width and depth and the advantages of that. So stay tuned in for that next week. And I want to remind everybody about our 2014 Relive Leadership Camp in every country throughout Relive Asia Pacific. And that is happening now. And in every, in every market that we're in, in Asia Pacific, look at what the qualification criteria are. There's a PGPV criteria. And in every market, there's a requirement to enrol or sponsor five personally sponsored distributors over that six month period. And if you really want to be a leader, take the lead. You can do it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing as many people there as possible. Now remember, in the words of Robert Kennedy, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. So let's get out there, guys. Let's dare. Let's dare to fail greatly so that we can achieve greatly. I want to see as many people at that leadership camp as possible. And also remember, each week's webinar is advised via email and Facebook every Monday. Thank you for being on this webinar today. Get out there and sponsor, promote, advance, and ignite your business. Thanks, everybody, for being on today's webinar.